Hey guys, it's Eckline here showing you how to extend your battery life on the Nexus 4. Now, the uh, Nexus 4, when it was first released, the major issue that plagued the device was uh, poor battery life. Now, um, these tweaks will help you extend your battery life by an another two hours of screen on time, which is a great improvement from the original uh, screen on time that the Nexus used to get. Now, uh, keep in mind that not all of these tweaks uh, applied just to the Nexus. It also works for uh, a multitude of other Android devices. So the first thing off, uh, and the most obvious, is to lower the brightness. Now, usually when it's auto, it's, uh, it tends to be brighter than it needs to be. So I like to keep it at uh, the minimum since I don't really, uh, I'm always indoors and I don't need the higher brightness, but it uh, makes sense to keep a certain brightness that you really need. Now the next thing is the Wi-Fi settings. Now from there, just go ahead and click the menu and go into advanced. <clears throat> now you're gonna go see this option, keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. Now I usually keep it to never since I'm not on a data plan. Uh, this uh, usually benefits people who are on voice only plans or uh, texting plans, but not that do not have data and use Wi-Fi primarily. Uh, so never is good for uh, people that are um, not on data plans, but if you are on a data plan then using never isn't good since it's going to be using your data um, more than it needs to. So if you're on a data plan then it's uh, good to keep it on always and if you're not go ahead and click never. Now another thing is uh, uh, avoid poor connections. Now what this essentially does is it will not try to reconnect to a poor connection every time. Now this will uh, help save battery once again. And finally you have the Wi-Fi optimization which minimizes battery usage when Wi-Fi is on. Now another thing that helps save a little bit of battery life is NFC. Now when you first open up your Nexus it's gonna have NFC enabled by default. So usually just disable it since I do not need it. And you can also go into mobile networks and select use only 2G networks. Now this is only uh, good if you're say on a voice only plan or text only plan. And again you can just deselect that on data enabled. Now another thing is location services. That usually likes to hog up a lot of battery since it keeps up a bunch of background processes running. So go to location access and you can see I have it off right now and the reason why I have it off is because I don't really use Google now so uh, when you disable this any uh, location based cards will stop working but if you absolutely have to use um, Google now then what I uh, prefer to do is just disable GPS satellite since that uses much more uh, battery than a Wi-Fi or mobile uh, network location service now this is where it becomes more specific to the Nexus 4 itself and uh, in regards to a custom ROM and a custom kernel. Now you're usually installing custom ROMs such as CyanGemod that I have uh, installed on this phone here uh, and a custom kernel that usually helps out with battery life quite a bit. Now you can see that I'm running CM10.1 and Franco kernel. Now this setup usually gives me 6 hours of screen on time which is much better than the 3 hours of screen on time that I was getting before. So this uh, doubles my battery life usage. Uh, so we can go ahead and you can see that uh, what a custom ROM essentially does is it gets rid of all the uh, stuff that's running in the background that you don't really need. And so does a custom kernel. Uh, basically optimizes the CPU and makes it uh, faster and uh, conserves battery life. What it also does is uh, installs a few CPU governors. Now what this is is essentially uh, options which uh, tell your CPU how to react to certain situations. So let's say you're playing uh, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now what you want to do is performance and it's going to keep it at the max uh, CPU frequency at all times. Now what I like to use is interactive since it goes from uh, lower, uh, like you can see 384 to bursts to 1.5. Now uh, one thing that will really save your battery is um, underclocking your CPU, ma uh, basically making it slower, though you can see from here it's not as slow as you think it would be, and this is only running at 1 gigahertz, it's not running at 1.5. So you just hop into CPU Spy, you'll see that most of its time is spent in deep sleep, 384 megahertz, 918 megahertz, 
one or one gigahertz but rarely does it go to 1.5 though in some cases it will go to 1.5 but uh, that's gonna affect battery life once again so what you can do is install an app such as set CPU and we can change the uh, max and minimum so you can see the minimum over here is 384 and the max is 1 gigahertz now depending on your usage uh, I, I highly recommend that you install CPU and CPU spy and see uh, what frequencies use the most and which one you can save the uh, most battery life out of so for me you can see that uh, most of the time it's running at 918 megahertz or 1 gigahertz so <clears throat> I usually go one step from the most used so the most used is 900 megahertz so I said at 1 gigahertz now this really doesn't uh, affect performance at all you can see it's still buttery smooth as ever and it really improves battery life by a great amount now another thing you can do is when you open up the Nexus 4 settings and go into battery you're gonna see that media server takes up a substantial amount of your battery now there is a script on XDA which kills media server now it's not going to prevent you from using any media it's just um, it's going to keep it from starting up over and over again so what the script does is every hour it's going to kill uh, the media service uh, uh, process again I'll have all download uh, links in the description below and that's all thanks for watching and uh, be sure to rate comment and subscribe to the tech line and I'll see you in the next video